Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another homeschooling video for you guys. I will be having a couple of these coming up here in the next little bit because I mentioned before in my video I did for the Pink Cat Studio Teachers Pay Teachers store um, that we're actually finishing up our homeschool year, we're wrapping it up. We've got about a month and a half, two months left. And so I'm trying to make sure that I get all of the homeschooling videos made for you guys that I wanted to for this school year. And then some things are going to carry over into next year and we have a little bit more time to use certain things. But I wanted to get this video and a couple other homeschooling videos up for you guys here pretty quickly so that you can get an idea of maybe some things you want to use for next school year or even over the summer. I know a lot of you guys like to continue doing some schoolwork over the summer. Some of you guys homeschool all year long. So hopefully the videos that I have coming up will be helpful to you guys. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Moffitt Girls First Grade Language Arts Bundle. If you don't know who the Moffitt Girls are and you don't know what Teachers Pay Teachers is, Teachers Pay Teachers is basically like Etsy, but for educational items. So there's all different types of teachers and educators on there that have created different unit studies and worksheets and things like that for you to purchase and use either in your classroom or if you homeschool in your homeschool room. So I have been using a lot of resources from Teachers Pay Teachers over the years and one of my favorite stores is the Moffitt Girls. And when I did our, um, when I did my review of the first language lessons of the Well-Trained Mind Language Arts Workbook, a couple months ago, I mentioned that the Moffat Girls was coming out with a first grade language arts bundle. She already has a second grade bundle, but that was a little bit too advanced for my first grader. So she told me that she was gonna be having one coming out for first grade, and I was like, that's perfect, because I really wanted a, a language arts program that could be used with first language lessons. I love first language lessons. If you don't know anything about that or you haven't seen my video where I talk more about it, I will link it in the description box. It definitely needs something to go with it to have practice of whatever you're learning in the book. So that is where the Moffat Girls Language Arts Bundle fits in perfectly. So her Language Arts Bundle is the perfect addition to any language arts program, but I think it works just like almost like it was meant to go with first language lessons because so far every unit she has released to that bundle has gone right along with what we are doing in first language lessons. It's a growing bundle, which means that when you purchase it, you pay the price that it is now, but as she continues to add more units to it, your price doesn't go up. You've already paid for it. You just get those downloads for free after that at that point. So the earlier you buy a growing bundle, the better off you are and the more money you're going to save because you're getting it at a lower price, but you're still going to have the benefit of all the future units that she's going to add to that bundle. So I really recommend if you think you have any interest in it at all that you go ahead and purchase it now while the price is lower. So I will link the Moffat Girls first grade language arts bundle and the Moffat Girls second grade language arts bundle just so you can kind of look at them and see, you know, uh, reading level wise which um, which language arts bundle might work best for your student. So her language arts bundle really is, and pretty much everything that Annie from the Moffat Girls does is fun. There's not just like mundane worksheets of the same thing over and over and over. She mixes all different types of learning styles in her worksheet. So you have some that are like games. She has some that are fill in the blank and crossword and word search. And that is for every concept. So for adjectives and nouns and prepositions and contractions, all those different language arts concepts, she's got like a packet of fun worksheets for each concept. So maybe you're learning about nouns for a month with these worksheets, but you're not gonna get bored because you're doing it in different types of, different types of worksheets like word searches and games and crossword puzzles and fill in the blank and all these different ways that you're learning about nouns but you're keeping it interesting, you're making it fresh and it's something different every day. I really cannot say enough good things about pretty much everything that Annie from the Moffat Girls does. I love pretty much everything she has that I've ever gotten um, but I think this is my favorite thing. Well, I've got two favorite things and I'm going to tell you about the next one in a minute but it's just been so perfect because I do love our language arts program so much, but it does need more practice. I really, this could not have been a better combination to use together for language arts because I've got my scripted teacher lessons from first language lessons, but I've also got these fun worksheets and games. So I highly recommend that you check it out. I will leave the link for it in the description box below, as well as a link to the Moffat Girls Teachers Pay Teachers store just overall. So you can get an idea of how much variety she has in her store for like every subject. I'll leave that in the description box below as well. One thing I wanted to give a little bit of a mention in this video that we're using along with the first language license workbook, we're using along with the Moffat Girls um, first grade language arts packet. We also use and love her comprehension stories. These are basically packets of month long 
comprehension stories for the entire school year. So if it's January and you know President's Day is coming up, there's going to be a comprehension story in there about George Washington. Or if it's February and it's Abraham Lincoln's birthday, you're going to have something in there about Abraham Lincoln. But you're also going to have fun stories mixed in about Valentine's Day and Christmas and all different types of monthly and seasonally and holiday season and holiday themed comprehension stories and they're basically just a short story the child reads she has two different versions she has one where they can color code the answer in the reading so it helps them with their answers and then one where there's no color coding so they have to kind of use a little bit more recall of what they read to answer the question so they're going to read the short story and then they're going to answer the questions at the end so it provides reading practice and it does really provide that comprehension. Are they remembering what they're reading? And I think that's especially important in the early stages of reading like kindergarten, first, second grade, because a lot of times kids are focused so much on what each word is and what each sound, you know, each letter makes is it's so, it can be a little distracting to them. They, they kind of don't really realize what they're reading because they're so focused on just trying to figure out what the words are. So having these comprehension stories that are fun for her to read, they're short. A lot of them are fiction and they're just fun, but a lot of them are nonfiction and she's actually learning. Like she learned about Abraham Lincoln and his birthday and which president he was just based on that little bitty short paragraph about Abraham Lincoln. So it's been a really great way to provide her extra reading practice that is not in the norm of her reading program, but then also comprehension. So you have to remember what you read to be able to answer these questions. Sometimes we even go through the comprehension stories and diagram the sentences. So I'll say, okay, now in that sentence, what is the noun? What's the pronoun? What type of sentence is that? So even then we're getting extra practice from language arts by bringing it over into her comprehension stories. Again, it's another thing you can add to any other program you might be using because we already use a reading program, but you're teaching comprehension that's different than just teaching reading. And so it's a really great addition to any reading program. It's great for practice. And I like how it's a mix of fiction and nonfiction. I really recommend checking that out as well. That is basically my review of the Moffat Girls first grade language arts program in a nutshell. And then also the comprehension stories. I really, I'm not about spending a lot of money on things that are not necessary. And I have done that in the past. I have seen people talk about stuff and I think, oh, that sounds amazing. And I go out and I purchase it. And sometimes I spend more for it than I should. And then I end up not using it. And I hate when that happens. But in my honest opinion, if you have a first, second grader, I really highly recommend the language arts bundle and the reading comprehension stories. But I will link everything in the description box below. So if you need more information or you want to take a closer look at some of the sample pages other than what I showed in the video, I highly recommend that you check that out. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I will also link my video I did for first language lessons in the description box below. I love that language arts program and I anticipate using that probably for the long haul. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and hit that little bell next to subscribe. Even if you're already subscribed to me, that will notify you whenever I have a video that goes up so make sure you don't miss it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.